All right, I'll be close three here, and today we have got a Melbin. There's the bin. Um, let's go get the camera set up and get some of these packages. Um, probably a lot of raw vintage baseball from like the 60s and 70s, and then uh, PSA stuff, kind of uh, the norm of what we see in a typical Melbin. So this is kind of a uh, bummer. Major buzzkill, what happened to him yesterday, so uh, apparently suffered a non-contact injury, um, Dalvin Cook, so um, it sucks. He's going to miss the rest of the season. He was out to a terrific rookie year, but as we've seen with tailbacks and all football players, um, it's part of the game, so he is young, you know, so it's going to be a long process. Uh, somebody... I read somewhere that uh, it was like a complete tear of the ACL, so let's just wish him a speedy recovery. Hopefully he'll be ready for camp next next summer. So. But his prices should cool, cool off a lot since he won't be playing. And... People like to see players play when they collect, you know, they get excited after a big game. Um, here's a Pete Rose. 675 shipped. I don't know, I probably overpaid for this for sure. Uh, it was 74 tops, right? 74 tops. I think he had it listed in pretty uh, favorable condition, but um, let's get this tape off it. So. It's still a pretty nice looking Pete. It's probably like a 5, maybe a 4, 5. I don't know. It's not centered too well. So There's a Pete Rose. That'll probably go in the binder. Um, I'm just going to make like a checklist of players and cards that I want. And then put them all in this big, thick, vintage raw card binder. And then uh, when I'm done with that, I'll, I'll do a, a video on that. So that should be fun. But this is definitely a work in progress. It's going to take a while. Okay. The cool thing about it is it won't be the most expensive project, but it'll be pretty nostalgic to flip through it when it's done. So here, this is also for the uh, vintage binder. 76, I believe. 78. Okay, I'm off. Uh, 78. Nolan Ryan tops with the Angels. This one also looks like about a five, so um, it's probably not worth sending in these fives. The uh, price you pay to get them slabbed, and then the price they are after they're gr they're graded, you probably are going to break even pretty much. And then there's also the threat and worry of sending in cards that have been cut or trimmed and colored, and um, it's just it's a huge risk if you think about these cards. Um, 1978 card, it's almost 40 years old, so it's been passed around around the block many times probably been sent in once or twice so I don't know that's just kind of my th thoughts on the whole grading raw vintage stuff that you buy on online um, I think there's two in here so this is always a fun card for three to five bucks so it's the LT tops 2001 base so I've been buying these up a lot lately it's fun to try to find the uh, mid nines or tens they're definitely out there um, but not all the time Maybe like one, one ten out of fifteen that I buy probably, and then one nine in every five I would guess. I'm just throwing out numbers there, but um, did I buy? So I bought a Deonta Foreman, and then okay, I thought they were vintage cars, but they're just the uh, newer ones. So uh, Deonta Foreman. It actually looks pretty good in limited action so far this year. Out of 73, this is the Aspirations Red for the Texans. So, Texans look good. Um, I know we're only a quarter of a way through the season, but I think they found a quarterback. So here's a player with a pep in his step from the film that I've seen. I've got 
a uh, package where I can watch all the games in uh, condensed form. So um, he just looks like he has his burst back, Jamal Charles. So um, and it, honestly, if, if he had a great season, it wouldn't really impact his hobby that much. I mean, I don't think because players, collectors have moved on to uh, younger backs, and that's just the cycle of collecting. But this is the the playoff ticket, so it's out of ninety nine. In the back. That's from his contenders rookie year. Not signed. And then uh score select gold zone rookie to fifty. So a couple Charles parallels from the rookie year. And that that's a binder that I need to make. A, a Charles two thousand eight binder. I've been picking his stuff up since two thousand eight, so I've got a lot of cards of him. His stuff sells really cheap. Here we go with the old baseball. That's a nice one. Wow. That's a 65. 65 tops maze. Um, right off the bat, there's like a small crease on that left corner. So the odds of me sending this in and then the back. There's an issue with that back corner. So, um, expectations definitely tempered. This is probably like anywhere from like a 3 to a 5. So those are pretty glaring flaws, you know. I mean, anytime you have a crease on a card, it just really takes away from the overall appearance, and that's what PSA um, primes themselves themselves on. So it's still a badass card that could um, drop right in, right into the binder. So a Willie Mays raw 65 tops, and This is a uh, player who's had a promising year. Um, I read a stat. I do a lot of reading on ESPN and NFL.com. And uh, Fournette has faced like the most backed eight-man fronts, which makes sense. You got to challenge Bortles to try to beat you, but. Um, He's still, you know, he's averaging 3.5, 3.6 a carry, but he's being productive. He caught a touchdown pass yesterday, and I think he's got a promising career in, ahead of him. Um, don't know how long it'll be because he is, he is a running back, but for right now, he's a pretty hot player. So, Fournette, this is unparalleled patch to 49. So, that's a 2017 football card. I've just uh, cooled off buying 2017 stuff. like cat cat food or something let's just slip the card out oh it's cool it's the old yeah 75 this is the full size not the mini I'm not into collecting the minis I'm just not a not that type of guy I don't like tall boys I don't like minis I just like standard size cards because that's what I'm used to so 75 tops yeah it's, um, it's probably like in PSA 6 condition or maybe a little higher it looks pretty good but um that's probably going straight to the binder so Nice Yaz, um, that was probably pretty cheap, probably a couple bucks plus shipping. Uh, Quantum Leaf Breeze. This just the base, not number. This is about a $5 card, so. But it's a nice breeze. He's in his college uni. If you're not into the college uniform stuff, just stay away from it. Here's a heavier one. I'm guessing this is a lot. Or maybe like a hobby box I bought. I haven't been buying the really expensive cards lately. Oh yeah, this is cool. Maybe I'll break this on camera. I don't know. It's like... 35 bucks, but it is a sealed hobby box from 2002. Um, upper deck football, and uh, it's got uh, Portis, Ed Reed, Dwight Greeny, players like that. So um, I just thought it'd be pretty cool. That's kind of cool. You get two game used jersey autos per box. So um, there's a chance it's something cool. 
probably won't hit anything crazy in that but it will still be fun to break an old older football box all right next up we have uh I think it's a Canadian package here. So, okay. uh, Tony Gwynn, PSA 9. That's a Donruss 83. Uh, in an older holder. So, for for whatever that's worth. But, um, it's got some scratches, but that's what you expect. A holder like this, it's probably 15 years old. Um, I know PSA started in 1991, so we're going on like 26 years now. So, nice Gwynn. Uh, one thing to note about this card is there's always a green little dot by his nose. Let me focus in. Um, I, I guess they all have that. It's just the way the card was printed. But uh, interesting, so at least. All right, so here's some Ken's. Um, I'll try to give you guys accurate prices on these two. So this one was like 60 bucks, but I uh, placed a higher value on it because I, I bought some of these starting lineups last month and they're not protected when they're in those packages and the odds of getting one that's perfect like this one seem extremely low to me so I thought this card was cooler than the um, price that I paid that's, that's what I'm trying to say so 91 Kenner starting lineup PSA 10 Griffey and then uh, I think this is uh, round trippers from 96 Donruss just kind of like a cool numbered insert from uh, 96 when they started to uh, number things a little bit more focus there it is um so just a nice little insert there so 17 i don't know why it says 17 though interesting okay uh next package this one's a gem so this i i opened this up and then i saved it to film it so it, it's one of these like so there's no soft sleeves but it's just shipped inside one of these like bubble sleeves almost so there's no soft sleeves on these berries so like 10 of these pro sets um i don't know maybe there's still a candidate in there <laughs> they look in pretty good shape for the way they were shipped but um those are probably a dollar to a dollar fifty per rookie card um that keep in mind that is a card from the junk wax era so um there's just too many copies out there for it to be worth too much um so this was just in an auction um breeze's stuff has been slowly rising as i think it'll continue to do um as he breaks um i, I think eventually he'll break the touchdown and the uh yards record so here is a nice three color little sliver of yellow there this is the 800 um this would be a huge huge card if it was uh, out of 250 and signed like the vic i think something that would be cool that i've seen on uh, other channels from like uh, Mike O and stuff is uh, if I could get Breeze to sign sign one of these and get it uh, PSA DNA authenticated and slabbed it just it, it would just look cool I know I've seen somebody do that before with the SP authentic um, and it, in the past I always thought that was kind of uh, ruining the card but I mean now I think you can kind of do what you want with your cards you know some people aren't going to like that um, some people don't like when like older 50s and 60s cards are signed like that, but I mean in in this hobby I mean if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it You don't have to collect it. That's that's the good thing about it. So There's always an option of what you spend your money on And there's so many different Ways in this hobby that, that you can spend your money. So you just got to find the uh, the way that makes you the happiest, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> I'm just ranting now. Uh, here's a Contenders Charles for like 12 bucks. Um, honestly, guys, if he if he gets some more touches, he could really start to go off here. Um, even though he's on Denver now, I'm still cheering for him. Um, I'm, I'm cheering cheering for the player. Obviously not cheering for the Broncos, but um, he's averaging over five a carry. But he was out touched last week, like twenty four to six to uh c j Anderson, so he's not getting the, the touches um but I think if he could you know play three more years as the player that he is getting the touches he is right now, you know and keep the yards per carry up, I think he's got a chance at the hall of fame um his uh yards per carry is just so high, so after I bought this, I wasn't a huge fan of this card, and so I might sell it. I don't know if it's in the uh, registry. But I don't, I, I don't ever buy cards I don't like just to add them to my uh, registries because I just I don't like to collect that way. I, I shouldn't have to 
collect certain cards because they're in a, a, on a list or something. You know, what I, that's what I'm trying to say here. So it's just like a 96 SPX commemorative Griffey PSA 9 mint. So we've got some cans as always. Um, And we got more cans coming up here. So um, these were cheap, and I liked the cards, and I thought I would just add them into the registry, which is, I think I'm number nine now, so I'm gaining some steam there. Goal is top five someday. Uh, so here's a nine, and this is just a 97 SPX, kind of like a die cut base. And then these are also in the lighthouse holder, so that's kind of neat. Here's a 95 flare. I didn't have this one slabbed. Uh, it's not a 10, but I didn't pay crazy amounts for those. I think I paid like 350 each card plus combined shipping. So it's very affordable for those two. And I don't, I don't mind nines. I know we've had that discussion a lot on the channel and across the hobby. Um, paying a lot less for a nine when, uh, and the the card is, you know, it looks very very close to a 10. So. Um, I got this just for the hell of it because I, I love 64 and love Mickey Mantle cards and it was uh, only like 70, 75 bucks but it's a uh, very good 3.5 and uh, what stood out to me about it was it was centered pretty well so um, and it's kind of cool to see what a 3.5 looks like in PSA's eyes and because I've been buying some lots of 1960s uh, vintage cards and I kind of try to give an accurate description of them so that's a 3.5 I think the corners are really really soft on this one so but it's, it's still a neat card so a nice mano vintage in here we're just going to go through all the mail I want to show these real quick so every Sunday I have some people over to watch football and I bought this little pack on uh, Amazon and they came so you got the flag and then the uh, the challenge flag, <laughs> but they look nicer when I bought them. It was like fourteen or fifteen bucks. I mean, these literally cost fifty cents to make. So the person that makes those uh, is uh, definitely taking it to the customers. Um, you, you could probably go to Hobby Lobby and do that pretty easily. I just don't know. I guess I'm just lazy. So um, just a little. Fun thing for Sundays. This is sweet. Uh, this is the LT. So we saw the breeze, and with the uh, LT, I, that's something I would also consider as getting it signed. But I mean, I'd have to me find a way to uh, find like an autograph session with LT. Maybe he'll come to the national one of these years, and I'll I'll bring some of these and snap them out, and then send them back in. It, it seems like kind of. <laughs> pain in the neck but after the process was done it'd be really cool so three color he his tier was the ones that were out of 500 breezes was 800 and vix 250 so um we've got a very clean card here with nice subgrades um so back at nine really thick holder haven't sent to beckett since uh i think march it's my last beckett order So this was sitting there, I'd buy it now like $10 plus shipping. I'm, I'm going to buy that all day just because I know this set's definitely not a gimme. Um, I buy these raw all, all the time and the, I don't find very many 10s. They're just chipped up off center and it's just a sweet vet card. So 2001 Tops Base. Um, I've definitely slowed down on the 2017 football. I don't know, it's just hard for me to buy, pay premium prices for players that just gotten into the league. Just because I've, I've been through this process so many times. Players get hot, you know, like, they get hot, their cards are inflated, and next year if they come back and they're not as successful, which the odds are they, they're not, the stuff's not worth very much. I just don't feel like playing that game. Um, maybe I'll wait two or three years and buy some of the guys if, if they can establish themselves. Here's a Charles uh, SP Premier, kind of like the 93 design auto. This is like six bucks. So Charles stuff is dirt cheap. Um, it's kind of what we've talked about. Out of sight, out of mind. Um, it's not that he's not, he's still in sight, just not as visible as he was. And plus, you know, most people are collecting the 2017 tailback class, but I, it sucks for uh, Dalvin Cook. Griffey PSA 8. Um, this one looks pretty good. Obviously, it's off-centered. And then always check your back. 
little hologram there. It looks pretty good to me. But um, so so here's an eight. This is about a twenty-five dollar card, and uh, raw that card sells for anywhere from like fifteen to thirty. So I mean, if you're getting eights, you're uh, either breaking even or losing a few bucks. Still, that that guy that sent in like fifty of them. That guy's my hero. <laughs> He's got guts, man. He sent in like, was it 50 or 100? I think it was 50. 1989 Griffey Upper Decks. You have to check out that video. He had a bunch of sixes just because I don't think he looked at them closely. And they probably had like uh, little like dents on the back. So here's a Yaz, a 71. 71 tops for the vintage binder. Um, this one looks pretty good. It looks like it could be like a six. So there's a Yaz vintage. So I'm uh, happy with the stuff that I'm picking up lately. Um, I just feel good about it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. So, um, and I don't have a problem with people shipping like this, you know. Save some money on shipping if you're not looking to be top rated. I, I definitely wouldn't use tracking on every package if I wasn't trying to keep top rated status for my store. So, um, this is a really tough card. I actually got a PSA 10 on, on one of these. And uh, this one's really nice. Looks like it could be a mint nine. So that's the Ultra Series 2. And then we have the Bowman Chrome, so both of those are like $5 cards plus shipping. Um, got about 10 left. This is uh, Unparalleled, which um, I had a chance to break a case of this, and I asked people in my uh, one of my mail bins if I should or not. And uh, most people were like, yeah, break it. <laughs> of course, they want me to break it, but I'm just not a huge fan of the set. This is a dual jersey for net to uh, 199 So there's your, some 2017 football. Um, I'm probably going to buy Pat Mahomes up. Just because he's the future at quarterback with the way Alex Smith's playing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with Alex Smith. Mahomes is such a young kid, too. He actually should be a senior in high school. I think he j just turned 21 not that long ago. So if he sat on the bench three years, it'd be fine. Rodgers did that. <laughs> not saying he's going to be the next Rodgers, but, I mean, it's not going to kill him to learn. So here we go with um, shipped very, very well. So it must be something a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, this is sick, guys. So I didn't have this, and it's not. This card is definitely not as highly regarded as the '93 Refractor. This was about 175 for a PSA 9 mint, but it's still a badass Griffey. Um, and I don't see. I guess I didn't pay attention, or I didn't see him pop up that much. But um, so I, I paid a little bit more than raw for this. So I was pleased with this mint nine Griffey, '94 Finest Refractor. That's the second year of Finest. Um, so that's a pretty nostalgic item right there. That'll definitely go in the grippy wall display. And I'll have to take something out. So this was like 25, 30 bucks. At its peak, this was this was about a $200 card. And then Chris Johnson was like 450. That that'd be a great bulls and bears. And now Chris Johnson you can get for like 20. But that's just the tail of tailbacks. I mean. Don't invest in them if you don't if you don't want to get burned because you're gonna get burned 95% of the time. Um, this is cool. So I've, one of the lost sets I feel like that's not talked about enough is 1998 SPX Finite or Finite. I don't know how you say it, but there's a lot of little parallel subsets of uh you know the, the key rookies like peyton taylor and moss and this one is called uncommon valor and it's the radiance version that's out of 540 so it's got a low print and uh i just think the card looks cool um this is like the most condition sensitive set i've come across in my years of collecting so um if you're looking to grade you're gonna have a hard time getting anything higher than an eight you might get an eight five here or there but the, the way that foil is on those, it's just tough. And I think that's how they came out of the pack. So here, here's a Charles. It's probably like 15 bucks. SP Authentic um, out of 999 Still a sweet card. I actually got a PSA 10 of this from uh, Cardboard Gems, who is a cool... They're a um, cool seller. 
I think they're from uh, Maryland, but they have a bunch of top high-end stuff, and I just like to uh, browse their stuff when I go to the National. Here's a Stan the Man. Um, so Stan doesn't have a ton of cards. There's th there's a story behind it. I think somebody can uh, fill me in, but he didn't have cards for a while. I'm not the vintage expert yet, but uh, PSA six of the the beautiful '63 set. Here's a Mahomes. Um, this is Panini Origins. Uh, this is a, a neat set. It's out of 99. Um, the only, only thing about this set I'm not a huge fan of is the uh, double zero autos. Uh, I realized that they, ha they had to get them signed like that to, to get the uh, on-card autos at the rookie premiere in May. But with all the technology and uh, airbrushing, you think they could brush an actual number and not that zero zero. It just looks corny to me. It's not something I would ever collect. Um, Fournette from the same set. Origins Jumbo Jersey to 99. That was cheap. They'd be a good card for the binder. Speaking of binders, Ernie Banks. That, now that's 50 50 center. And you see how that? I'm just kidding. That's uh, like 15.85. I don't know. That's the worst I've seen. So uh, Banks 69 tops. Neat card though, that'll go to the binder. And I, I just have to work on my checklist of certain players and then I'm just going for like basic tops. Maybe an, an insert here or there. So I've had some success doing this, buying these uh, GMA cards and then snapping them and sending them. I don't just snap them off the bat, I kind of take a look at the card and not the grade. And then if I think it's, it's uh, worth my trouble, then I will do it. To me, this looks like a, a mint nine, but I'll have to look at it closer. So the select 93 Jeter. Um, two left. Uh, 93 tops, Derek Jeter. Off-centered a little bit, but a cool rookie card. So there's your Jeter. We're gonna end on this one. It's an LT. Oh one tops. Looks to be in pretty slick condition. Oh, no, never mind. See that? Let's focus. Can't get it to focus. It's got a dead corner, so but still cool car. That's it guys. I'm gonna get this one uploaded. Hope you like the mail. I'll get something else up this week.